I love it. Everyone, so today I'm going to be dyeing my hair bright yellow. This could either turn out really great or it could turn out to be a disaster, so keep on watching if you want to find out. No, but honestly, I'm excited to change my hair. I haven't changed my hair in so many years. I've had purple and pink hair for probably about four years now, so I think it's time that I went to something new. As you guys can see, I've been lightening my hair. I will do a separate video on how long it took me to get from really bright magenta pink to this. It honestly only took me like two weeks. I'm also going to be dyeing the under layer of my hair neon green, but I will show you guys that process in a separate video. I had been debating whether or not I was going to do my whole head neon green or yellow, and I just kind of decided to do both. I did strand tests, and I don't know, like, I kind of, I really like the green, but I kind of feel like maybe I should go with yellow first. I don't know. So we're going to just go with yellow and see how that goes. The yellow hair dyes I'm going to be using are Arctic Fox Neon Moon and Cosmic Sunshine. Very pretty. I'm going to be mixing them together.
most semi-permanent hair dyes recommend leaving hair dye in for 30 to 40 minutes. I typically leave mine in for at least an hour or more just so that it sticks to my hair a lot better. So that is what we got going. It's very bright. I'm very excited to see how this turns out. So as you guys can see, this is what my hair turned out. I definitely did do the best job. I just want to say, as you guys can see in the previous videos that I included of my hair, it's a bit splotchy and it's a bit all over the place. I knew I'd be going swimming and it would fade anyway, so this was just kind of a trial for me. And this is a color that really put me out of my comfort zone, but I'm so glad I did it. I really, really do love it. I love the mixture of green, although I think next time I am just going to do a nice, a bright neon yellow. But yeah, this is what my hair looks like. I'm absolutely in love with it. I think that it looks great on me. And yeah, there's a few places where dye got that it shouldn't, but I'm just going to ignore it and hope for the best. This is something so different for me. I've had a ton of different hair colors in my life, but I've had purple for three to four years now. And to go with something so different that I've never had before is just so nice. It did take me a bit to bleach all the pink out of my hair. And I will do a separate video talking about how I went from bright pink hair that I've had for like four years to how I got the blonde. I definitely think that I need a haircut. I definitely need to trim up my ends just a tiny bit and I need to thin it out. Because as you guys can see, I have a ton of hair. I'm not a professional. I just did this for fun and because I use my hair to express myself and I think that this just looks beautiful and fun and I mean it's summer so I want to do something fun and honestly with all of my chronic issues I think that when my when I can do my hair and I can do it how I want that's kind of the only thing I have control of in my life so why not? I highly do recommend Arctic Fox hair dye. I really do like them. I've been using them for a while now and they're really really great. I took lots of videos and photos and in some I edited the contrast to try to make it so that the video showed how my hair actually looked. It's actually so much brighter in person than it is on video or in photos. So it was very hard to kind of get a good representation of what my hair actually looks like, but I did my best. I do want to also say that I did this by myself and I cannot see the back of my head. So I just kind of guessed and you know, I like it. I think it looks super cool when I have it braided as well because you see more of the green come out. I'm just honestly so happy with it. I definitely do know that like I want my roots to be more bright next time like I want to do like mainly like a neon moon next time I think just to get that super vibrancy but I do like it like a lot and as you guys can see the green like is also really nice this is the type of green that I wanted so I now know when I want to dye my hair green I know exactly what dyes to use I was gonna do a separate video talking about how I dyed my hair green which I probably will but when I was editing that the I deleted the files by accident we're just gonna have to wait yeah I'm super in love with my hair I think that it looks pretty great i'm definitely gonna be keeping this for a while i do really like it and i will let you guys know how it fades i'm gonna be going swimming um in about a week so i'll let you guys know how that goes how much it fades etc but yeah and my hair isn't damaged very much from bleaching i also have been using like no frizz products because my hair is always frizzy even when i don't dye it and everything just i just love it this is my natural hair this is 
how it is after I like have a shower and it dries. This is just how it is. I was going to straighten it, but I really don't have the energy for that. So you guys just get to see it like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Comment down below any questions you have. Again, I'm not a professional, but I've been dyeing my hair for about 10 years now. So it's, <laughs> I kind of know what I'm doing for my hair. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I love it.